Hey, what's going on, guys? Let's try this problem right here. This question is asking a coin is resting on the bottom of a tank of water one meter deep. On top of the water floats a layer of benzene which is 20 centimeter thick. Looking down nearly perpendicularly, how far beneath the topmost surface does the coin appear? Draw a ray diagram. Now, let's see how we can solve this. So, first of all, we have we have a coin under the water right so let's draw a particular line so here we have a coin under the water let's say this is a water layer right and then on top of the water we have a benzene layer so here we have a benzene layer and someone is looking through this and the question is asking how long I mean what is the length it's going to appear from the top right now let's go ahead and plug the given informations first we have this uh, index of refraction of water that is NW that is equal to 1.33 and then this water depth is 1 meter and the next information is we have index of refraction of this benzene layer benzene that is NB that is equal to 1.5 and which is 20 centimeter thick so this is uh, in meter that is 0 0.2 meter looking down nearly perpendicularly how far beneath the topmost surface does the coin appear now let's draw our ray diagram so this is let's draw a normal line right first this is our normal line and the index of refraction of the water is 1.33 and index of refraction of benzene is 1.5 so when it's go when the ray go from lower index of refraction to higher index of refraction what's going to happen is this ray is going to bend toward the normal so this is going to bend like this toward the normal and after that it's exiting to the air and for the air index of refraction is always 1 and 1.5 is higher than 1 right so it's going from higher to normal I mean lower so when we when the ray go from highest to lower it's the ray will refract away from the normal so this is going to go away from the normal right something like this now where is the coin is going to appear so to find the coin appearing place what we do is we extend this one and if you extend this one and draw a coin picture this is going to be the coins appearing place so when you look through this one it's going to appear it's here so the the question is asking what is the distance from here to here here to the coins place so this is the question uh, let's say this is D so D is the thing what we are trying to find here we have to definitely use the Snell's law right now in order to do Snell's law we have to put the angles so let's call this one theta 1 and let's call this one theta 2 theta 2 and let's call this one theta 3 now first uh, let's deal with the water see so this water and benzene and this is air now let's deal with water and benzene first water water benzene now here the Snell's law always incident angle so incident angle and uh, incident index of refraction so here we are going the ray is going from here to here so index of refraction is going to be NW right so it's going from water to benzene so this is going to be NW sine theta and whatever the angle that's making with the normal that is theta 1 is equal to n2 
so the refracted place that is here in the benzene so index of refraction of benzene is nv and uh, the angle is sine theta 2 and here one more thing and if you look at the question they are saying this person is looking down nearly perpendicularly so if it's nearly perpendicular it mean it means the theta incident is almost zero right so nearly perpendicular means theta incident is almost zero so this means when we have this is a very small angle right so when we have very small angle what's going to happen is sine theta is going to be equal to tan theta so instead of writing sine theta we can Go ahead and plug tan theta for everything here right so it's only happen when we have very small angle so here what we can do is we can write this one as nw tan theta 1 is equal to nb tan theta 2 now nw is 1.33 and tan theta 1 so theta 1 is here and tan theta is opposite over adjacent right so opposite is this one so let's call this one l and adjacent is this height and we know the depth of the water is one meter so we can go ahead and plug that one so this is going to be l over one and in the other side we have nb that is index of refraction of this benzene that is 1.5 and theta 2 so here we have theta 2 on top so what we can do right here is if you extend this line right if you extend this line this line making with normal is theta 2 so this line that is making with normal should be also theta 2 right so if this is theta 2 then if we extend and finish like this so this is going to be here let's call this height from here to here let's call this one y okay so let's call this one y and this is l so this also l and here theta tan theta 2 is going to be opposite over hypotenuse i mean opposite over adjacent so opposite is l so this is going to be l right here and adjacent is y right now from this one we can see that l and l cancels and we can figure out y so y is going to be equal to 1.5 over 1.33 and if you calculate this one you should get 1.12787 now the question is asking for d right we found out y so this is what we can find from the water to benzene. Now let's go ahead and see what we, what we can get from benzene to air. So benzene to air. Again, we are going to use the same Snell's law. So Snell's law is here incident incident is going to be benzene and refraction is going to be L so incident angles so let's call this one if this is theta 2 this is also theta 2 right this one also theta 2 but here only there's going to be different before we found out theta 2 this uh, tan theta 2 is opposite over adjacent opposite was L adjacent was Y but if we look at from here here we have y but here we have this distance also right this distance we know that 0 0.2 meter so when we put tan theta so let's write the equation first first of all we are going to have this is a uh, this is going to be nb sine theta 2 is equal to na index of refraction of ar times sine theta 3 now nb is 1.5 and instead of sine theta 2 before we found out sine theta 2 tan i mean 
again we are going to use tan theta here we don't need so since we are dealing with very small angle we are going to put tan theta so this is going to be tan theta 2 tan theta 3 and tan theta is we found out already tan theta was l over, l over y but in this case we are looking from the this height right so this height we have 0 0.2 meter extra so what we have to do is we have with, with this y we have to add that 0 0.2 so this is going to be y plus 0 0.2 and na is 1 index of refraction of r is always 1 and tan theta 3 tan theta 3 is this one okay but okay, let's extend this this normal and if you extend this normal and this one if this is theta 3 this angle extended line red line and this normal is also theta 3 right because if this is theta 3 this also theta 3 now since this is theta 3 we can again use opposite over adjacent but opposite is before we had L but if you see this is little bit different look different than L but the base is going to be L because it's going to be a small difference but actually it is L to illustrate we draw like this but the width is going to be the same so here we are going to have L as our opposite and the high uh, adjacent is going to be D that's what we are trying to find right <clears throat> so here we are going to have L over B and multiply by 1 so it's not going to change anything so we can keep this one like this we can cancel this to L now we can go ahead and solve for our D D is the question so D is equal to y plus 0 0.2 divided by 1.5 y we calculated already that is 1.12787 so this is going to be 1.1 1 .1, uh, if you add this 0 0.2 with that one that's going to give you 1.32787 divided by 1.5 and if you calculate that value you should get 0 0.8 0 0.885 meter okay, 0 point, we are adding 0 0.2 with this 1.12787 we get 1.328787 and if you divide this one by 1.5 you get 0 0.885 meter so that's going to be the distance from this uh, surface of this benzene to the appearing location and that's how we do this kind of problems. I hope you guys find this video helpful. See you next time.